Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. This is Jennifer Esquire Creations and in this video we are going to be creating an icy snowflake axolotl. I don't know if you guys have got the memo or not, but we're pretty fond of axolotls. They are absolutely adorable and they are featured a lot in our shop and on this channel because we just think they're so cute. We like to draw them in different scenarios and different situations. And so we created a regular axolotl. We had a limited edition sugar skull axolotl for Halloween. And now we're doing one for the holidays, for the winter. And this is like an icy snowflake winter themed axolotl. I had so much fun drawing him, you guys. You have no idea. Firstly, the uh, the other two axolotls were based off of the same design. They were just recolored differently. This is a brand new axolotl design. Um, when I was really like trying to get my juices flowing, thinking about how I wanted to create this little guy, I really thought about like what I wanted him to look like, and I just felt like it was time for a new kind of body shape. I just wanted to do something a little different. He's a little tiny bit more, I want to say, uh, short and stubby or more, I don't know, there's something different about him. I absolutely love, love, love to death his little feathers. Um, I think they came out really good. And I'm really curious to see what you guys think about him. I just, I just had a, a ton of fun creating him. So, the idea about this little guy is like he's he's not like a real axolotl. He's like a, a mystical axolotl, which to be honest, axolotls look pretty mystical. Like if you've ever seen one in real life, they look very like mystical. I always say they look like Pokemon or like anime little creatures because they just are so cute, but they just look like they're drawn. They look like they're fake and they're just adorable. I mean, they have the cutest little faces. Go look up an axolotl after this video. Um, but I wanted this guy to look like he was literally made of snow and ice. Uh, a frozen axolotl, if you will. Uh, I know that Frozen 2 is coming out soon. It just made me think of that when I thought about this. Not, not like an axolotl that has been frozen, but just an axolotl that was maybe sculpted out of ice and all sorts of cute, pretty things. But I love winter. I love the colors of winter. I love uh, all this different stuff. And I felt like with this guy, I really went through and I did a lot of different, I tried to show different depths, different layers. I tried to like get as creative as I could and um, really create something that looked like it had like dimension to it. And I don't know, I feel like the first axolotl uh, that I did, the pink one, if you guys go on the store, this is just a plain regular old pink axolotl that is like the most realistic version of an axolotl. Uh, that guy, I just, you know, tried to make as realistic as possible. But obviously, obviously the other two that I made, the sugar skull one and this one are just more like artistic interpretations of axolotls. And I think I'm still going to end up doing another version of a Christmas axolotl. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to figure that out. We'll see what happens. I'm in the throes of creating lots of different Christmas designs. I did have some trouble with this little guy's tail at first. I did this first design and I wasn't crazy about it. And then eventually I went back and I like erased it and I redid it. And for me, um, every time I redo things, it's always like for a really good purpose. It's always because like in the long run, it comes out so much better. And there's always a reason. I just, I was working on an art project a couple of days ago. And that's something that you guys will see soon in the, sh in the shop. I, you know, unfortunately, I did not film myself creating it. I don't know why. Maybe because it was more of a little bit of a basic design. But for whatever reason, I didn't film myself drawing like I usually do. And I, um, I for some reason, I forgot to save. And usually I save like crazy. But I just didn't save. And... Everything got like deleted. <laughs> my game, my my game. I'm sorry. Thinking of gaming, my um, my software totally crashed and I lost all my progress, which is not fun. So I 
pretty much had to draw every single thing from scratch, which, you know, made things more difficult. But, um, and you know, it turned out so much better because of that. The drawing turned out a lot better. There was it just, I decided to take things in a new direction a little bit and make some adjustments. And it's like, it's frustrating at the time because like, oh my gosh, you lose your progress. You feel like you're, you're already kind of crunched for time and now you have to like do things over again. It stinks. But for me, whenever that happens, it's because it like goes in a better direction. I get something more out of it and that's kind of how it goes for me, but it's not always an easy process. I feel like for some reason, this looks stagnant to me. Like it's not moving. I don't know if it is or not. But uh, this might have been a time when I was taking a break. There you go. Sometimes it, I, whenever I speed draw, I like to listen to something. Sometimes I'll listen to music, but mostly I'll listen to YouTube videos. Sometimes I'll listen to like informative things. Sometimes I'll listen to like makeup reviews because I love makeup. So sometimes I like to listen to makeup reviews or like makeup declutters. I love makeup declutters. Uh, they are just so fun to listen to. And I think that what I like about those is that you get to really see like the palettes that people love and the makeup that people really love and they want to hold on to and like the kind of stuff that they're throwing away. I think it's like a good way to get like a fast rapid fire review of a product. So I, I find those really interesting. But here I am trying to work on the tail again. And again, I'm just, I wasn't really happy. It wasn't feeling good. And so... A lot of times I'll have an idea to draw something, but how do I want to put this? A lot of times I'll get an idea in my head of like, oh, I want to draw this thing, but like, I don't know how to draw that thing at all. And so I have to like teach myself on the fly how to do a certain thing whilst I'm like trying to you know, figure it out. I don't know if that makes sense, what I'm trying to say. But like this tail, I wanted this tail to look like it was made out of ice. I wanted it to look translucent. I wanted it to look like it was made of ice. I wanted it to look like it was kind of shiny and glistening. And I really didn't know how to do that. Um, I'm not a trained artist. <laughs> I just kind of make it up as I go along. And, you know, that's, so I was trying to figure out how to achieve what I wanted to. And so a lot of times in my speed drawings, you'll notice me like erasing and redoing or like sometimes even when I'm doing just line work, I, I don't know if it's that I just don't have good control of my pen or like the, what's it called? Like the muscle memory, whatever you want to call it. But sometimes I just don't have that control. And because of that, I, you know, I have to like draw lines or my lines will come out janky. So those of you who are budding artists, you know, and you feel like your art isn't good or you've, you're having trouble with it, just like keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And um, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, kids, because if you keep trying, eventually you're going to come up with something amazing. It just takes time. And, you know, that's why I always leave a lot of the mistakes and stuff in because I want you guys to see, like, I'm not perfect. I struggle. Sometimes I screw up and I have to fix things. And like, that's just part of being an artist. But I think when you do that kind of stuff, when you're really pouring your soul into a piece that you're doing, I think that it's it shows, you know, It's more meaningful and it's more, um, it's more meaningful and it, it brings more of yourself into it. I at first wasn't sure what I wanted to do with his eyes. I was kind of initially trying to like repeat the similar eyes that I had on the other design. Um, but then I got this idea that I wanted him to have like little black button eyes, like shiny little black button eyes. And I'm glad that I opted for that difference because I really do feel like it did make a difference. I feel like it did make, sorry guys, every so often you see like a black square come up. That's just my recording software. Uh, in case you guys are curious, I use Action by Morillis. I think it costs like $30 and uh, I think it was 30, is either 30 or 39. 
to purchase it and it works really good so this is the finished product we do have this available right now in the shop it is on a few selected items and so I'm just gonna let you guys know that there will be a link to shop right below if you enjoyed this video please do us a favor give us a thumbs up let us know what you think uh, comment below and let me know what other kind of Christmassy things you think that I should draw or just in general what other kind of speed drawings you'd like to see in the future I am so glad that you guys spent time with me today I want to say thank you and I will see you guys in the next video I hope you guys have a wonderful day